read. Yes. Amen. Verse 44. And it was about the sixth hour, uh -huh. and there was darkness over all the earth what about until it? the ninth hour. Yeah. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. My God. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, mm -hmm. yeah. into thy hand yeah. I commend my spirit. Yeah. Yeah. And having said thus, he gave up yeah. the ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord is blessed. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. I need you to say it like this. Okay. On the other hand. Oh. On the other hand. <laughs> This phrase allows one to experience another point of view, uh -huh. to make a contrast, to examine and see and understand the different reactions to the same situation. Mm -hmm. As we remember the great sacrifice that was made on our behalf, we must really try to understand what Jesus went through and endured from the Garden of Gethsemane to the cross on Calvary. Yeah. My God. The Garden of Gethsemane was a place that Jesus and his disciples often went to pray. The night before the crucifixion, he asked three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, to watch and pray oh my God. so that they would not fall into temptation. Yes. And I tell you that we live in a day and time when we must watch as well as pray. Yes. Amen. Yes. We've got to pray, amen, that the enemy does not overtake us, yes. that does not put us to sleep. Right. We must pray that the temptations do not overtake us. Yeah. The Bible says that there is no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man, but My the Lord God. will not suffer you to be tempted yeah. above that you are able, but will with the temptation make a way for your escape. Jesus prayed himself and asked God to let this bitter cup pass. My God. God sent an angel from heaven to strengthen him. Then there was Judas Iscariot, the betrayer. Right. He came to the garden with a host of soldiers, high priests, and Pharisees, and servants.